This is our winter cod box. And we've got a couple of boxes that are really comforting and warming for these colder months. And cod is particularly good fish to serve during the winter. It's in excellent condition. So we start with grilled mackerel accompanied by pickled vegetables with chervil. Then we've got the cod with a red wine sauce with lentils. And in the red wine sauce, and this is what makes it so special, is some spice, old English spices, which just hits the spot for this time of year. And finally, a nice thick custard tart with clotted cream. We start off by getting the mackerel under the grill. So what I'm gonna do is just take my mackerel fillets and just paint them with sunflower oil using a little pastry brush. And then I'm just gonna season them with salt and pepper. Just turn those over, skin side up, really nice when it's nice and crisp. And that's just gonna go into a hot grill oven for about three minutes. Now the vegetables, the pickled vegetables. Small pan on the stove and into the pan I'm going to now put the pickling spice and then I'm going to follow quickly with the vegetables already sliced for you like your julienne of carrot and sliced onion and a few capers. So there's my vegetables and the pickling spice and the pickling liquid just put that on the heat and now I'm just going to give that a stir and as soon as it's warm, I'm not trying to boil it, I'll take it off. That's ready to go. Now I've got the chervil left. I'm just going to chop a little bit of it. That'll do and just put that into the pickle. And now to get my mackerel out, which is about three minutes. That's looking really good. Now to dish up. So there we have it. Grilled mackerel, pickled vegetables with chervil. So, cod with red wine and lentils. And here's the cod. And it's re in really good condition this time of year. First of all, I'm just gonna take both these fillets and brush them with a, a bit of vegetable oil. I just tend to use sunflower oil, but any vegetable oil will do. And then I'm gonna season them with salt and pepper and grill them. And I'm gonna grill them for about six minutes under a high grill. Now, the red wine and the lentils. First of all, I'm going to warm through the lentils and we've already cooked these down with some bay leaf and onion. You might need to add a little bit of water just to loosen them up. And in the other pan, I've, I've got a red wine sauce and we've all done the lion's share of the work with the red wine sauce, but we want to do is to finish that off now. So that goes in there. I'm just going to warm that one through. So that's cooking down very nice. So I might just add a tiny bit of water there now. Now my sauce is coming up very nicely. So now I finish the sauce off by adding butter. And this is um, fairly chilled. And you can do this right on the heat. You don't need to whisk it in off the heat. Whisk that in. And then the sauce will be ready to go. And it'll hold like that off the heat for a fairly long time. So you don't need to go back to that now. I love this dish actually. I should remember to put it back on the restaurant menu. And now just for the mashed potato, which goes so well with this cod dish. What I've done is empty it into a saucepan. Just add some milk, about 50 mils. And uh, it's already seasoned, of course, but you may like to add a bit more because I'm very fond of slightly salty mashed potato and a bit of pepper too. So just stir that through until it's all nice and warm and ready to go. And I can actually put the lentils out now. Love lentil. And now the cod should be just about ready, so let's have a look. Um, you can see they're not they're not sort of totally crispy, but they've got a nice finish on the top of them like that. Beautiful. I can just taste by lifting them up how firm that cod is. And finally, we just put our butter and red wine sauce around the side like that. And there we have it. Cod with red wine and lentils. And to finish, a simple custard tart, flavoured, of course, with nutmeg, and baked so it's still nice and moist. And to go with a custard tart, it has to be Cornish clotted cream. Just a little tip, you can just dunk the cream onto the plate, but if you just use a couple of spoons, you can make a sort of quite neat little lozenge 
to put on there beside it. So there we are, the custard tart with crotty cream. So that's our winter cog box. We started with grilled mackerel with pickled vegetables and chervil. We then went on to grilled cod, a lovely piece of cod with red wine and lentils. And finally, custard tart with clotted cream.